frankly, was watching movies in class.、Um, so, um, this is not a full fledged movie. It's actually just 10 or so minutes. But as promised, this will peel back the, the hood of the internet and show us in much more interesting detail how things underneath the hood work. But just a few pieces of jargon so that you know what to expect here. So, we talked on Monday about TCP IP.、Um, and even though we didn't talk about the TCP part, we did talk about the IP part, Internet Protocol. And that generally related to this fact that every computer on the internet had an IP address, a unique address that identifies it so that packets, data, can get to it from routers across the internet. Now, the TCP, we didn't tease apart, but it does a bunch of things, one of which is that this is a protocol that guarantees delivery. For instance, if with IP, just because I extend, or in the real world, just because I extend my hand, Out like this doesn't mean that the other person is necessarily going to acknowledge my hand being extended and they're not necessarily going to shake it. TCP metaphorically will just keep re extending my hand until uh, re, uh, the other end, the server, actually replies. So TCP guarantees delivery. And the other thing that it does is it allows you to do multiple things on one server at a time. So a server these days can be a web server, but it also can be a mail server or an instant messaging server. But if data is just Arriving at an IP address, it's not going to be obvious perhaps whether this is an email or an instant message or something else. So it turns out that when you address one of these virtual envelopes, thanks to TCP IP, it's not just the IP address that gets written on the envelope and your IP address in the from address. There's also a unique number that's put on that envelope called a port number. And you might generally have seen. That the port number for web services on the internet is the number 80. And the port number for anything secure on the internet with HTTPS is 443. Email is 25. SSH is 22. FTP is 21. And if most of these acronyms are sort of over your head, that's fine. But know that this is the mechanism by which browsers send data to a server and on this envelope say, by the way, this is number 80, port 80. So make sure it goes to the web server and not, say, the mail server or something else. And this, this,、uh, this feature of port numbers is also such an easy way, frankly, for Harvard to keep you from doing things in your dorm rooms on your computers that they don't want you to do.、Right? One of the reasons you can't really、uh, put your Wii on the network and actually play networked games by default is because Harvard is filtering out some of the traffic. And they're doing this by a couple of mechanisms, but one of which could very well be based on port numbers. If Harvard just wanted to unilaterally say, no more web access for anyone, but you can send email, all they would have to do is configure. Figure their routers or more specifically firewalls to disallow any packets flowing through harvard.edu that have the number 80 in them. And corporate firewalls do this much more so. And we'll talk later、um, next week, likely, about this tool that came out last year called Firesheep, which actually allows you to sniff traffic and how that actually works and relates to this, although that tool operates at a higher level.、Um, so you're about to see glimpses at routers,、um, at packets, at、uh, Uh, at switches. A switch is just a device that you can plug multiple computers together in, and then the so called firewall, which you all have at home or even on your computers and software, which just keeps bad stuff out and good stuff in. So, without further ado, I give you how the internet actually,、uh, with some、uh, simplifications, works. <laughs>